Hey, it's Joe Germain with Multi-Sport Mindset. If you haven't been to this channel before, we do sport-specific skills, speed, strength, coordination, fundamental movements, and mental performance training. Today we're going to be covering the most basic of running mechanics, which are A skips, B skips, and C skips, and I'll be showing you all the different variations. So when we get into A skips, B skips, and C skips, it's incredibly important to talk about our arm movement because our legs can only go as fast as our arms pump through a full range of motion. So we want to have our arms at 90 degrees bent. They stay bent. It goes from our ear all the way to knocking a can out of our back pocket or elbowing somebody behind you. The other arm is symmetrical. And then when we're doing the skips, it's also important to think of squeezing your butt cheeks together as if you had a coin between there. And it'll bring your hips up so you can be explosive and powerful. Another thing to consider is that we want to be explosive up and down. You want to think of the ground as being hot lava. You want your feet to barely touch it and then explode up so they don't get burned. Because the faster and more frequently you can have big strides that contact the ground, the quicker you're going to go from A to B. A skip, B skip, and C skip all practice an explosive leg cycle. A skip is our leg drive, B skip is our leg stride, and C skip is a combined drive and stride with a quick ground contact. The faster our explosive leg drive with A skip, the faster our explosive leg stride with B skip, and the faster our explosive ground contact with C skip, the quicker we're going to go from point A to point B. Tie that in with explosive arms, correct posture, and forward lean, and you will maximize your sprinting potential. Proper forward lean originates from our ankles and having a proper shin angle. Our hips stay erect and the whole body leans forward as a unified whole. This puts us in the strongest position possible to propel ourselves forwards. The reason that we're doing A skips, B skips, and C skips forwards, backwards, and side to side, as well as any other variations that you will see in this video, is because once we learn a movement, as soon as we change the plane that that movement is performed, we increase or decrease that difficulty and have to relearn that technique, really locking it down in our neuromuscular system. On top of this, I'm trying to provide everyone with sprinting drills that they don't have to repeat in a practice for months on end. You can use all of these different variations in different practices to keep things fresh and never repeating. This will keep the athletes invested and improving. Each variation of A skip, B skip, and C skip shown in this video take almost no time to complete. By including one set of these movements in your dynamic warm-up, you can improve your speed, sprint technique, and prepare your body for competition. Skipping is also a very low impact compared to sprints, so these movements can be performed more frequently while allowing the body to recover, but still receiving a speed benefit. For high skips, be explosive up into the air as high as you can with each stride. Really use your arms to jettison yourself up into the sky. It's a plyometric activity. Distance skips. For distance skips, you're trying to go as far as you can forward with each skip. Use your arms and your feet to propel you in the direction you want to go. Resisted A skip, B skip, and C skip forwards. When we perform skipping drills or any sprint technique drills, and especially with resisted skips, we want to work on our forward lean. We still have erect hips and good posture. We just lean forwards with our entire body to propel ourselves in the direction that we want to go. To change things up and challenge our body in even more ways, we can practice skipping uphill for power, downhill for overspeed so we move faster than our body's used to, and then across hill to work on ankle and foot strength and stability. When we perform skipping with a dowel, we can really focus on proper posture and executing a proper leg cycle. When we put our arms above our head, it straightens out our spine and pushes our hips erect and forward, which allows us to work on our slight body lean originating from our ankles. You can use the dowel in any variations that we've done to mix it up. You can go forwards, backwards, lateral, alternating leg, uphill, downhill, resisted, or however you want to do it. For the sake of time and to keep the video shorter and more compact, I only showed one of either A skip, B skip, or C skip for each dowel skipping variation. I just wanted to clarify that each of these dowel variations can be performed with A, B, and C skips. 
Once we've mastered the skipping movements throughout this video in all the different planes of motion, we can add in a jump rope. A jump rope will increase our athletic ability through upper and lower body coordination as well as our timing. We will have to spin the rope and coordinate that timing with our feet. Adding in a skipping rope increases the difficulty level exponentially and presents a new challenge for movement mastery. Just like with the dowel skips, I wanted to clarify that I only used one of either A, B, or C skips for each variation to keep the video shorter. Make sure to perform the jump rope with A, B, and C skips throughout all the different variations. So when we do A skip to B skip to C skip to sprint, you can do it forwards, backwards, and sideways. Be sure to face both directions so you get both sides of your body. This, is, this ties it all together. This is our sprint mechanics right into a sprint so you can get the feeling of everything just locking in. So we covered A skip, B skip, and C skip. Two variations that we didn't cover were sand, which adds resistance and that foot mobility and stability, and going into a pool, which aids in recovery and takes away any kind of impact that your body has. So you can do that on days in between workouts when you're not feeling as fresh. When we're doing all these mechanics, it's really important to again, think of flexing your foot or your toe up towards your knee for that springy foot action, staying erect and squeezing your butt cheeks together to get your hamstrings involved, to pump your arms through that full range of motion as fast as possible and to get that forward lean so you can cover ground quickly. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Multi Sport Mindset.